Councillor Cordova. Thank you, Mayor. I'm really pleased to see this report and also to see that it's got a really cogent and well-articulated uh, response to the original purpose, um, which was to look at potential, um, potential transfers of assets to basically try and mitigate the quite extensive depreciation um, that this council faces. So currently it's a subsidy of about $1.2 million per year, and so that's significant on council's books. But the most important thing to me when looking at that initial proposal and also in this report is that privatisation of any assets should not be considered. And I think that's something we can all take comfort from is that in the discussion about various governance models, there is at no stage, and I hope never will be, any consideration of privatisation. That's not what this is about. There's been a broad understanding that the Kingborough Sports Centre and the precinct is a, a fantastic asset. It really is a jewel in the crown. It provides health and wellbeing to so many people throughout the community and not just in this municipality, but elsewhere as well. There are 33 community and sporting groups and it's a, one of the most significant sporting facilities in the whole state. Um, so many of these, in fact, all but one of the leases are with not-for-profit groups and they provide incredible uh, health and wellbeing and also social networks and connections and um, health and wellbeing not just physically but mentally and spiritually as well. The precinct includes non-sporting groups, Kingston's Men's Shed, the Community Garden, Southern Dog Obedience Club, Mount Pleasant Walking Track, the Dog Exercise Area. The length and breadth of the, th of the services that are offered at the sports precinct is um, it's remarkable to behold and it's an excellent, excellent place to go. And indeed, as we've already heard um, from one of my colleagues, the Kingston High School uh, receives significant benefit as well. So, when looking at the potential advantages or disadvantages of various governance models, what this report has essentially found, if we look, cast our eyes to 4.10, 4.10, the potential advantages of this model, as in changing the model, are greater flexibility in relation to employment contracts, as staff would be part of a company rather than council employees, and a stronger focus on the operations of the precinct as a business. This may result in marginally improved overheads for Council, although it's recognised that the Kingborough Sports Centre staff currently operate under a, uh, a separate enterprise agreement to that of the main organisation that reflects these operating hours. Similarly with turf maintenance, there's uh, a recognition in this report that the turf maintenance crew work under a flexible work arrangement that reflects the seasonal nature of their work. Whilst they're based mostly at the Twin Ovals, they actually serve as the whole of the municipality. So again, some of those, um, the initial expectation was that there would be benefits to consolidate or to rationalise those services or, or to move them off council books. In fact, it would be only a marginal benefit. Um, the responsibility for asset replacement and depreciation costs under this model still rests with the council, according to 4.14. So the thing that we were trying to solve, I guess, by investigating these models, it, it turns out that there's, there's no great win there. Um, Irrespective of the government, governance models in place, the life cycle asset costs remain the same. The only way for council to remove depreciation costs is to transfer ownership of the asset. And of course, transferring ownership of the asset, you know, any kind of privatisation was always off, off the table. And I, I'm so pleased that it was always off the table because I think in my conversations with the community, there is a great appreciation for the sports precinct and people do really value that it's in council hands and will be hopefully in perpetuity. Um, so I guess, the, yeah, the main focus for me was to investigate al alternative motions and see what efficiencies can be made. But in fact, I'm really pleased to see that after this comprehensive view, the operations of the Kingborough Sports Precinct, um, whilst they are significant in that they receive an annual general rate subsidy of 1.2 million, as 5.2 states, adopting an alternative governance model will not change the cost of maintaining and depreciating the facilities within the precinct unless there are changes to either the service levels provided or the ownership of the assets. So for all those reasons, I really do appreciate the work that's gone into this and I think it does clarify a number of issues and I look forward to the precinct staying in community hands forever. Thanks. Councillor Westwood and then Councillor Wass. Councillor Westwood. Thank you, Mayor, and thank you, staff, for this report. Um, I would like to see, as we go forward, um, somehow, and I don't know how, but somehow more of a coordinated, collaborative approach to sharing of assets um, so that each different sporting group doesn't have its own club rooms, its own um, function centre, its own change rooms. I think um, 
you know, we can we can probably get more bang for our buck by working together and sharing assets. 